Hi, and welcome to SeaTech. I'm Tony Zeal, and we've put together this short series of films to show you all you need to know about our D250 SE and SmartPass 120S DC-DC onboard charging system. I'll help you choose the right system, show you what's in the box, show you how to plan your install, how to install the system itself, and finally, how to program it. Okay, so firstly, let's make sure you buy the SeaTech DC-DC system that fits your needs. Basically, what battery setup you're using and how much power you actually need will dictate the size of your battery bank. And that in turn will dictate what kind of SeaTech charging system you should buy. So, for example, if you're running simple lighting with just a basic equipment setup, the D250 SE on its own is the best choice. The D250 SE will service all your needs and it'll charge any 12 volt vehicle or secondary battery at up to 20 amps, even if your vehicle is fitted with a smart alternator. It'll also charge your service battery from a solar panel up to a maximum input of 23 volts. The D250 SE has a built-in regulator with MPPT for maximum charge in the shortest time. Or, you can use your solar panel and the alternator to charge both your service battery and your starter batteries. But if, on the other hand, you need a lot of power to run a lot of equipment like lights, trackers, inverters, TVs, or if you use your vehicle for work and you need to charge up power tools and other equipment, you can use the D250 SE and the SmartPass 120S together. The third option is, if you have a very large battery bank but you don't need solar input or you don't need a system that will condition and maintain your batteries, in this case you can use the SmartPass 120S as a standalone unit. So, just to recap, if you're running basic equipment with low power consumption, take a look at the D250 SE. If you use a lot of power and you're running lots of equipment, then the D250 SE coupled with the SmartPass 120S is the ideal choice. And if you've got a large bank of batteries, but you don't need solar input or battery maintaining, you can use the SmartPass 120S on its own. You can download a copy of the instruction manuals for both units at www.ctech.com. And if you look at the technical specs, that should help you decide which unit or which system is best for you. If you need any more information, simply email us at info at ctech.se. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.